is 10.3 part one. Uh, there's a few problems to do here, so I broke up into two parts just so uh, it would flow nicer. Okay, so uh, part one, uh, so we're going to have word problems. Okay, um, how it's going to work, an example here we've got, draw up this graph we've got here. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, there's a race. Okay, uh, the race goes from A to B to C. All right, so uh, this distance is set in stone, what that's going to be. Um, the problem will say something along the lines of uh, Joe finds a shortcut and goes from A to C. How much shorter is A to C than A to B to C? Okay, so I'll say something along those lines. Um, so pretty much most of what this problem uh, is going to be is understanding what they want you to do and how they want you to set up the problem. Okay, so pretty much I want to find out what is AC? Okay, what's this distance? I'm going to do that with distance formula. Then I'm going to compare it. What's the distance from A to B plus B to C? Okay, and then I'll subtract it. Okay, so uh, let's find AC first. So let's say uh, from A to C, I have the square root. I'm going to do x2 minus x1. So parentheses 4. Minus negative 4, that'll be 4 plus 4, squared plus negative 1 minus 2, squared. Okay, so uh, AC is going to be the square root of 4 plus 4 is 8, so 8 squared, and the negative 1 minus 2 will be negative 3 squared, so negative 3 squared. Okay, uh, 8 times 8 is 64. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 64 plus 9 will be 73. So the square root of 73 is this distance here. Okay? So uh, if I want to write it in here, that's fine. However you guys want to write it, it's fine. Square root of 73. Okay? We're going to keep that in mind um, for a minute there. I don't need to calculate it exactly yet. I'm going to keep that right there where it is. Okay? What I need to do is find out how far is it from A, B, and how far is it from BC? Okay, so I have to do distance formula twice here. All right, again, get good distance formula. You're going to be doing it a ton. So uh, I'm going to do this a little quicker now. Uh, you guys on your own, go ahead and get the distance between A and B, and then get the distance between B and C. Okay, get those two things separate. All right, pause the video, do that now. So unpause, I'm going to come here. Uh, negative 4 minus negative 1, that's going to be negative 4 plus 1 squared plus 2 minus negative 2. It's going to be 2 plus 2 squared. Okay, so that's going to be negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 squared. 2 plus 2 is 4 squared. So this is going to be negative 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. This is going to be the square root of 25. So this is going to be 5. Okay, this length here is 5. Sometimes you'll get a nice number. That's okay. Okay, let's find the distance between B and C. Okay. B and C, uh, again, if you haven't done it on your own, uh, doesn't matter which one you do for X2, X1, X1, X2, Y2, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to do 4 minus negative 1, so that's 4 plus 1, squared plus negative 1 minus negative 2. So minus negative 2 becomes plus 2. Okay, so simplifying. 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5 squared. And then plus negative 1 plus 2 is going to be positive 1 squared. So 5 squared is going to be 25. 1 squared is going to be 1. So I get the squared 26. Okay? So uh, I've got the square root of 26 plus 5 will be this distance here. Okay, so 5 plus the square root of 26. Now, um, what you guys will need here is a calculator. Okay, you all need a calculator uh, for this section. Um, let's go ahead and find that, write that in terms of decimals. So 5 plus, let's do the square root of 25. That's going to be, oh, sorry, square root of 26. There we go. So I get about 10 point. Oh nine nine. Okay, 
Uh, it's a much larger decimal. I'm going to keep it about that. Okay. How far is A to C? So that's the square root of 73. So I just do the square root of 73. And that's only 8.544. Okay. How much shorter is this? Okay. How do I find out how much shorter that is? You just subtract. You just subtract. So I do minus 10.099. And I should get about, about 1.55, okay? So uh, in terms of how you'll write that in Khan Academy, pay attention to what they're asking. They might say round to the nearest hundredth, round to the nearest tenth. They might say round to the nearest whole number, okay? Make sure you guys uh, are paying attention closely to what you're supposed to round to, okay? Um, and then I'll say units for you. So you don't have to worry about putting centimeters, meters, or uh, feet, miles, whatever it is. Okay. So about 1.55 should be your answer. Okay. Let's move on to the next problem. Uh, we'll only do these two problems in part one, uh, just so you guys can kind of get the hint. Okay. So uh, for this problem, all right, I'm going to say there's a bullseye. Okay. Uh, there's a dartboard. Okay. So here's the bullseye. Uh, someone throws three darts, okay? They land not even close to the bullseye, they land about there, about there, and about there, okay? Uh, how close is the closest point, okay? Or how far is the closest point? How far is the closest point from bullseye? So the question is, which point is the closest point? Okay. Can you tell by looking at this picture? Not really, right? Um, if you try to guess, you're going to get it wrong every now and then. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you might see it and say, maybe that's the closest. Okay. If you pick this one, you'd be wrong. That's not the closest. Okay. Uh, maybe you picked that one. Or maybe you just drew it different and somehow it came off center. So just be careful about what you pick. If you need to, just do uh, the um, distance formula for me for each one. Okay. One thing I will tell you though, you kind of use common sense. Okay. If this is five, five away, this is obviously going to be farther away than something negative five, only four away. So this point I know won't be it. Okay. Now between these two points, I have no idea. Okay, if I have the same two uh, numbers in terms of distance, x, y's, so that's five away, that's five away, I can look at the y values and say, well, that's only four, but this is five farther, so I can say that one's not going to be it. Okay, well, there's nothing in common, try it out. Okay, so let's do distance formula for both of these. All right, uh, I want to do the distance between zero, zero, and I'll start with negative five comma four. So uh, I'll do, uh, let's do negative five minus zero squared plus four minus zero squared. What you'll notice is you just end up doing the numbers, right? If I do minus zero every time for zero, zero, I can just pretty much put negative five squared and four squared. Okay, so uh, this is going to be 5 times 5 is 25, 4 times 4 is 16, so this distance here will be the square root of 41. Okay, so this distance here is the square root of 41. Okay, let's find what this distance here is. Okay, so uh, similarly, you should notice that if I'm going to do minus 0 each time, just do the square root of that plus the square root of that. Right? Or excuse me, that squared plus that squared. So I can do parentheses negative two squared plus negative six squared. I can only do this because I'm doing it minus zero, negative six minus zero. It's nothing, right? So negative two squared is going to be four. Six squared, 
3. Negative 6 squared is going to be 36. So this ends up being the square root of 40. Insanely close. Only the square root of 1 away. So this is the square root of 40. This one's just barely closer. It's a smaller number. Smaller, smaller distance means it's closer, obviously, right? So the way it's going to ask you on Khan Academy is to round to a certain number. You're going to take your calculator here. Do the square root of 40. Once you find out that's the closest number, I'm going to find out that's 6.324. Okay? So about 6.324, however, however they want you to round it. Okay? If they say nearest tenth, you do the one. If they say nearest hundredth, that'd be 6.32. They say thousand, you put three places. Okay. Uh, part two will come up soon. Uh, it'll be that problem, but ignore that for right now. Uh, but for right now, that's 10.3, part one. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.